Hey everybody, welcome to Sable. Yeah, this is a adventure game that's out on Steam. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, the devs sent me a key, so I want to thank them for that. Uh, this art style looks incredible. And also just... I'm already just like, ah, oh, dreamy. <laughs> uh, I don't have a save file. Like, I just started it to make sure it ran fine. Yeah. This is going to be like a first impression. Yeah, see, playtime zero. <laughs> It's gonna be like a first impression style video. It's gonna be like the first like hour or so of gameplay. I haven't done a uh, non horror video in a while. Look at like this art style. I love it. Is that Snek? Oh, no, it's uh, Bugu. I thought it was like the tip of a tongue. <laughs> this art style is incredible. And the animation is supposed to be kind of like choppy like that. You'll see, like, once we get in. The ceremony. Okay, WSD to move. Can I use controller instead? Yeah, there we go. Also, let me make sure. Yeah, okay. Controls, make sure none of this. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Neat. Yeah, I'm using my controller. Child's mask. A blank-looking mask worn by all children of the dunes. Most kids customize theirs for fun, but more traditional clans frown on that sort of self-expression. Ibexi ch uh, children top. Okay. Uh, my old Ibexi top and hood. Yeah. Uh, a hand-me-down from Yada. The scratchiness reminds me of home. Ibexi trousers. Comfy uh, sandals for exploring sandy places. Easy to find or easy to get sand out, but uh, not the best for climbing. Okay. Cute. Yeah, so like the, while the game runs smooth, the an, like the run animation's a little stylistically choppy. A to jump, okay. I don't need your help, I know what to do. Plenty to climb that ladder. I can peer through the wall. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Ugh. Ugh. Cute. Yeah, I want to check this out because I think the art style is just redonk. Also, I think my saturation is up crazy high because the last game I was playing was just so I had to like pump the saturation up to make it look like anything was happening. Maybe I do want keyboard and mouse. Let me try this. Yeah, this feels pretty smooth. Okay, let's do it. Okay, and I got a stamina meter. I love this. Oh yeah, so uh, we're doing this ritual called the gliding. Our name is Sable. Ibex camp. I don't know if you're gonna like explain that to us here in a second, but 
this, uh, the Steam store page, which by the way, link in description. <laughs> His leg! I can feel Jody smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can uh, feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. Okay. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Um... I know, I know, I'm do- I know, I know. I tell Jetty that I know that it, uh, hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to get nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. I remember the uh, remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on your seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. <laughs> but then, uh, I promise you, I was going. it was going to be all right. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. Uh, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Uh, Jotty reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. Uh, and you can, Sable. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. I thank Jotty for the encouragement, and I tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's get you started. I need to talk to Halal uh, and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike. And Halal, Halal, uh, will have or share something. Well, let's say a useful, as useful as it is fun. Hmm. I think I might suspect what J uh, Jadi is saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. Okay. Uh. Okay. So basically, just go talk to everybody. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Thank you. By GG. Yeah, so there's my... Okay. Yeah, since I'm doing like a first impression, I want to show you guys like as much as I can. As I approach Halal, he, uh, they give me an enthusiastic wave. Uh, I have always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor. On a day like this, I'm ready to match it, with a touch of nerves for balance. <gasps> Gliding stone! Sable, take this! Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles in my palm, I feel a warmth not uh, borrowed from Halal's hand, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find soft electric. I find it uh, softly electric, like static on cloth. Uh, thank you. I thank them for the fuzzy rock. <laughs> Oh, Sable, you don't know what this is, do you? I was trying to skip all this. Come on, I know what a gliding rock is. I can just... glide. Uh, what I've given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Electricity? Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is... openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels of the per... Uh, perpetual? Yeah. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty, or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take them to the temple runs at the edge of the canyon. Okay, you need to activate it there. Uh, Lol claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Uh, come back uh, to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. Okay, oh, uh, got your bike yet? Okay, go get my bike, got it. Uh, I think he was over here? Hi! Postbox, logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages, zero. Have a good day. Alright. I'll go fuck myself. Uh. Hup. Yeah, is this the bike guy? Hello. Hi. 
Uh, it's all I can do is not race up to Driss. Okay. Driss is the camp, camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom features. Uh, what will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs uh, feel sore or will I get used to it? Uh, Driss turns a bit with a start. Sable! Uh, hi! Hello! I was told you have something special for me. Something special? I nod very meaningfully. We didn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. Uh, confidential? Confident? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't read the last word. But I can't do it. I'm too keen. <laughs> and the words spill out. I asked Drisk if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes! Of course! Right! Yes, your bike. Uh, that is what I meant to be, meant to, that I prepared for you! Because today is your... Gliding, yes. Driss nods along. Yes, of course, right! Yes, yes! I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. God damn it. Don't tutorialize me. A tutorial. Yes, exactly! A learning experience. You see, Sable, before you can... Uh, uh, you see, Sable, before you can own their own bike... Before one can own their bike... There we go. They must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it, and I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to a sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. What's this bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Cute. Before I do that, give me one second. Let me switch this to be a little brighter. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Hello, I'm back. It is my constant battle <gasps> against sweat and heat in this office. Cute. Oh, so strafing is like this. Got it. Neat. I love this art style. I love this. I played a first person puzzle, puzzle game. A pu 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 puggle game. <laughs> a first person puzzle game called Anti Tower. That had a lot of like similar like shading methods. I'm just I'm just enamored with how this looks. Alright, let's find that uh that ring I'm supposed to be going through. Oh, that this valley has a statue of two people with their hands together. Reminds me of the that one valley in Naruto. Uh, here it is. This thing's fucking chugging, too. Just doof, 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 doof. Ah, I did it. Let's go talk to Driss. Yeah. Oh, and there's like an actual, like, day-night cycle, too. Uh, there we go. What up, dickhead? Oop. I returned Driss, who somehow seems to be caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissings, small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice it was on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Everything sounded normal. 
Uh, that's the sand cutter. Uh, must like you, then. It usually is a little more temperamental with new riders. But you're not even a little bit on fire. Uh, have you already been by Halal? Yes. Am I not getting a bike? We're getting uh, the use of, of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And uh, Halal's got something to show you, too. Help you out uh, with more of that er, mobility you're after. Okay, since I did that, ugh, it's so hot in here. I need to... I need to put like a tier on Patreon where I just hire somebody to fan me off screen and feed me grapes. Uh, let's see. So what's my quest right now? Whispering is them. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Okay. Uh. Okay, gotta go that way. I was kind of hoping I'd, I'd actually get a different bike because this is just chugging. I think it actually goes faster downhill, too. That's really neat. Like, that, I think that's really neat. And it goes slower uphill. A little bit faster down. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, okay, so it's still this way. Oh, is that the altar I need to get to? Okay. Huh. Oh, I love this so much. Camera! Camera! There we go. Okay. Um, let's climb up this. Ooh, let's also look around. I love this. All right, I need a sprint. What's the sprint button? Okay, I think it's this one. Nope. Okay, there it is. It's B. Okay. Oh, and can climb like that. Oh, very like Breath of the Wildy. Okay. Mmm, I don't like that. Okay, back to keyboard and mouse. The here, maybe I can. Sorry, technical difficulties, everybody. Camera sensitivity up, 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 up. There we go. That is way too high. Uh, all right, there we go. Yeah, because the sprint button is B, and the jump button is A. What the? Is this not how I do this? There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go! Yes! I like how the their fingers, like, grip a little bit and slide. Let's do this. Yeah. I like being able to just... Hello? Chum egg. So it's like Koruks? Chum egg, offered up by chums. I had a yellow lab named Chum before I moved to Austin back in like 2006. Uh, but I couldn't take care of him, so I gave him to my mom. Uh, let's see, perfectly smooth and hard as rock. These eggs seem to float with uh, how light they are. Must be a good place to deliver these. Okay. Did 
the fuck? <laughs> what is he? <laughs> Fucking bummer, bro. Okay. Of course, the adventure can't be smooth. Alright, so there's like pathways up there. There's a humming. this art style. It's so simple, but, like, complex. You know what I mean? Uh, the stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Exhilarated? Or maybe it feels right. I am ready for Rohana to know me. Who? <laughs> I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Okay. My dog, Danny, is next to me. Hi. You don't come see the pretty colors? <laughs> yeah, this reminds me a lot of the game Antichamber. <clears throat> Now I, now that I picked her up, I'm just like covered in dog hair. And give her a good brushing. So now I have this like gliding force field thing I can use. Yep. Neat. Okay, uh... Fuck yeah. That's so cool. I love glide mechanics. So like... There we go, yeah! I love this. I need to start playing more just just random, like neat, like adventure games and stuff. I've been focusing too much on the horror game element of my channel for way too long now. And don't get me wrong, like I love horror games. Always will. But like I don't know, I need to spice it up. Give it some varietize. Is there fall damage? Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, just like, I think anybody doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over can get a little burnout. And like, I've been doing YouTube now for seven years. I need to mix it up. It's a mix of like anxiety, depression, and then just like overall burnout just from life. Like, ugh. Ugh. Sorry I haven't been posting as much. I've talked about this a little bit, but 
I've, I, I've just struggled with depression basically my entire life. Uh, and in the beginning of 2020, uh, me and my partner of 10 years split up. And then the pandemic <laughs> happened. Okay. When I moved twice across the country from Austin to Philadelphia, then from Philadelphia down to Arkansas to be closer to family for a bit. Uh, I return to Halal. It's uh, clear they know that I've just what I've experienced today. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, what I've ex just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Exciting, true freedom. Tell Halal that hovering is exciting. I, ram I r and ramble for a moment about all the things I'll be able to do when I'm uh, out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. <laughs> right? You can do anything you want. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but they, uh, the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might have uh, never come back from my uh, gliding. I'd just be out there, uh, heaving myself into chasms. Well, <laughs> I'll heave myself into chasms for you? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Into a thousand chasms on their behalf, and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people uh, manage to keep it up, but I don't know uh, that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Uh, he laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't gotten that, or I haven't certainly got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that. Besides, there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. Uh, to lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Uh, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all, uh, uh, all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. Thank Halal for their advice and uh, for their help and tell them I will miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one. I say goodbye. Before I go, Halal addresses me to the tower. It seems Cizo wishes to see me off. Okay. Cizo. Okay, let's go up there. Uh, no, thank you, Grandma. <gasps> and yeah, and I've tried different medications to help me out to just like balance this just natural serotonin like lack that I have in my brain because like I get these brain zaps. Uh, even before I was on any kind of medication, I'd get it, and that's basically like a sign of like low serotonin. Cute. Cizo is a outclanner to the Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Uh, machinists, I'm told, are given their posts, and by their training and their code, go to where they are needed. But Cizo has been among us so long, it's easy to forget it's an assignment, uh, first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a uh, perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite insular, and that our designation of Abexi versus out clanners oh, okay. suggests some nervous uh, other othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and uh, who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. Uh, and I'm pleased that Cizo did. Who's that guy over there drinking? Uh, Sable, uh, how did you do, clan child? Cute. I can only think of one thing. Uh, excited for my bike. Cizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. 
She is quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jadi told me how excited you were. Cizo sniffs. She also told me Driss uh, would be coming along to get your bike together. I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say it out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I forgot that today was the day. I don't for, uh, begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will do good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike, hover bike parts yourself. That sounds like an adventure. I told Cizo that uh, I like the sound of that. A little adventure before my big one. It's more meaningful than you know. To bond with one's bike before <laughs> it has taken a form uh, is more privileged than labor. Here, take this. Hey! This is the navigator. You use it to mark waypoints on your compass. Okay. Uh, our bikes are reborn in the ruins, uh, in the ruined ships. In fragments spread apart. Let's go to start, uh, go start would be the ship down there near camp. Okay. You find another at that great rock, uh, near the other side of the canyon. The other behind the old dam on the hill. Okay. Use the navigator to mark what, uh, what you need. Okay. Okay. I'll be back before you know it. We gotta real create something new out of the old. All right, sure will. Uh, oh, I need to use the, okay. Oh, whoa, this is very, very weird. Okay, so I need to put this, like, over here? And then I hit Q. Yeah. Okay. Neat. Um, I want to go see what this dude's up to. I didn't get a good jump beforehand. Hi. The balloon is more. Oh. Okay. I didn't mean to click that. Click that fast. I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? It really is. And enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However uh, nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off once. Best not ask right now. Well, good to meet you. And, oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. Kind of like journal? Journal? <laughs> Tell him I'm Sable. Uh... Oh yeah, map. Well, the cartographer, I love a map. That'll be 50 somethings. Okay, so get money for map. Got it. Okay. I can do that. Let's go get my bike. Did I park it down here? There it is. There's this piece of shit. This thing is such garbage. I love it. Was this the thing he was telling me to check out? Oh, hell yeah. This looks awesome. Okay, open those. All right, let's go sit in the chair. Uh, nothing of use can be found on the ship, but I notice a blinking uh, light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push at a button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, but it's barely audible. Stop messaging, uh, messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work uh, it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if what the old machinist told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. Three clicks. Okay. Uh, when I push the orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes. Okay. Oh no, Rohana's mask. Not that hard. Okay. Speakers are filled with static and a low rumble. Okay. <laughs> Say fucked up. It worked. We're flying. 
More cheering. Uh, does that sound someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. Uh, this thing's moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, ramen? Let's check the machinist's notes. Uh, is increasing in pitch. Ramen? That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... Recording cuts off. What is this little beat? Who is this? Are you looking for a calibrator? I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and be, should be uh, able to withstand it in practice. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get me. You're a horrible child. Sima laughs off my irritation, <laughs> but I'm not uh, going to give her the satisfaction. Uh, I cross my arms and uh, try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Sima. If you give me some beetles, that's a fair trade, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so it's got to buy beetles, I guess. Or find beetles. Uh, get off. What's in my inventory? What are these? Okay. So let's go find... Let's explore a little bit. There's other ships and stuff. Or like... Crashed areas about. And plus I just want to explore. This game's pretty. Hello, what are you? Oh, okay. Oh, there's like a sword in this thing's head. Can I have that? Oh, get off, get off. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. I am really impressed with this. And also, how are y'all doing? Chums is to the west. What? There, there I am. So north, south, east, west over here. Hope y'all are doing well. If you have any recommendations for like games like this I'd check out, please let me know. Cause I'm always down to check out just weird experiences like this. And so there's these like actual wooden ships. Okay, I guess these aren't anything. Looks like there's some stuff up here. How would I get up there, though? Oh. There's like a jumping puzzle. Okay, let's do this. fun over here. <gasps> Hi! I got another chum egg. <laughs> Fucking weird. <laughs> okay. Uh. It's. Uh. This is so pretty. Up, birds. I 
I am really just like taking a back route somewhere, aren't I? Are those bugs? Come here. So I need to get like some kind of weapon. Maybe I can like sneak up behind him. Nope. Okay. So, can't do these guys yet till I get a way where I can just grab them. Okay. I hear something. What does that sound? No oh, shit. Oh. I see. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you, idiot! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Got you, stupid! <laughs> Eat up, dummy! Okay, so I got the... I got the beat laws. The Yuki Spooky Beetles. Hi. Oh, you mean climb up here? Will I have the stamina to get up? No, I won't. Okay. I'm gonna try to see if I can get up and out somehow. Yeah, like I went up there. Like if I can run and jump and somehow climb over there, that would be dope. Oh, I can't climb on this. Fuck. Okay. Well, damn. There was that... Not good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, there was that uh that treasure I was trying to get. Huh. That's the whole reason why I came back here. I guess the beetles were like an added bonus. What if I yeah, what if I go over here up top? Yeah, I think I'm doing it. Whoa, camera. There we go. Okay. Yes, there's a... I knew it, there's a chum up there. I kept hearing a sound. Yes! Do you see him? See him up there just being a little fucking stupid worm? Hi. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, was there a rock over here I was trying to get to? <laughs> like, was it this rock? Do I think there was something up here? Yeah, hmm. Okay, I think I was trying to get up here. But there's nothing here, so I actually already got the loot. Well, damn. Okay, we also have that dam. We can go explore. It's so pretty. Let's 
see what's up here. <coughs> Come on, bike. You can do it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll get off. No, please get off. I love the music. Everything about that so far, I'm really enjoying. Okay, nothing over there. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, here's a bunch of garbage. Hell yeah. Oh, I thought this was, I thought this was a trash can. <laughs> Neat. Um. Why do I keep climbing on everything? Get down, you little spider monkey. Uh. Yeah, let's just... Okay. Hello? Treasure? Ooh, I think there's a puzzle over here. Yeah, there's like a... Uh. Are you a battery? Big brain, massive IQ, no smooth here. I am super wrinkle. <laughs> Hello? Atomic control panel, okay. Um. Do I put that somewhere? Inventory, tab. How do I do this? There we go. Ships of old. Find a power supply. Okay. I, oh, I, I don't have my bike back here. That's right. I was like... How am I supposed to get around? How can I get up there? I wonder. A series of climbing? Nani? Am I supposed to be back here? <laughs> huh. Secrets? I'm such a big sucker for side quests and secrets. It takes me forever to complete like any main like adventure game. Just cause like if there's side quests. I'd be doing them. Even if that means, like, I'm gonna be crazy overpowered for, like, the main game. Fuck it. Make me a god. I think there's something up there. It definitely is. Here. Oh, and I definitely can't make that jump. That's gonna be too high to climb. Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> get up, get up, bitch! Oh, cute! I don't know what this is, but I like it. Yeah! Are the birds, like, hints towards collect, like, things I can get?
Ooh. Hi. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing up there. Nothing back there now. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll... Now, I'll head back and get to the bike. Is that just a rock? What is this in front of me? Oh yeah, it's just a rock. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll go to the next thing. I'm at the next spot for the part I need. Ugh. Up. There we go. Nope. There we go. Yeah. I love, like, the climbing mechanic is really good. It's very Breath of the Wildy, so, like, if you like that game, then you'll probably enjoy this. Fuck me, I fucked that up. I'm gonna plummet to my death. Maybe not, maybe not. Yeah! <laughs> Anything down there? Okay. This is just chill vibes only. Nope. I'm trying to use this as like a... Get down. Baka. There we go. I can make that. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I, I guess it'd be... Sable girl. Sable girl. Do whatever you're able, girl. Hi. This is so cool. <laughs> Okay, so we got some mean red cables. Atomic power supply. Dope. What am I doing? Am I doing a puzzle? Steep. Am I going over there? Like, what do they want me to be doing? Or am I just overthinking it because I'm dumb? 
Skyrim. Interesting, nothing down there. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna break the game. Hell yes, hell yes, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Breaking it, breaking it. Hell yes, doing it, doing it. Come on, baby girl. Okay, I think I'm as, I think I'm as high as I can possibly get over here. I want up there though. What am I even doing? Okay, where's my bike? Right here? Is that it? Oh, 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 disgusting. Ah, damn it. I almost got it. Damn it. I almost landed on it. And I was like, ooh, that was sick. But early celebration. Uh, what else do I need to get? Uh, ships of old atomic calibrator. Okay. Find an atomic calibrator, eh? Shit, maybe it was actually... Fuck, hold on. I'm gonna go back up there. Sussy. Sussy bucka. Hey, everybody. So I came back up here, because I was like, what if there was more to this area than I explored? Because there definitely is. Ow. Yeah, like right here. Hi. Cuts. A cache of 1,000 or 100 cuts made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. Sweet. Oh, those things I've been collecting are cuts. Oh, okay, cool. Now, redo. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um, where is the other one I was supposed to go get? So I got that one, I got the one with the dam. Oh, the kid that Little son of a bitch. He wanted beetles for the thing. Yeah. Let's go make a purchase, I guess. Um. Find atomic health. Wait, no. Wait. Let's speak with Jotty to get some cuts. This game's fucking cool. <laughs> Hold on, what is, what is this nonsense over here? Let's turn. Yeah, what's all, what's all this? What's all this? What's this? Okay. Hello? I like the purple floor. Hi! I love you. Yeah. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think that's good over here. And yeah, let's head back to the town and get some cuts from Jody. Jody? Where they're called cuts. Like, when I say let's get some cuts from Jody, it's like she's either gonna slice me to ribbons or like give me some cocaine or something. <laughs> Who knows what she's up to over here? Um, hello? It's over here. Nada? Okay. I wonder if that's like a prefab place where I can upgrade my bike. Hello. Who the shit? Oh, you're the kid. Hi. 
What have I done? Uh. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna throw it. I don't care about you, kid. Shut up. Shut up. Is this your home? Is this where you live, you disgusting little slob? I'm stealing your treasure. A Bexy red dye. Ooh. So I can dye my bike? Fuck yeah. That's that shit I do like. Um, let's go talk to Jadi. Get some cuts. Let's talk to the map guy, get the map. Now that I... I think I have cuts. Hello. Anything for me? Okay. Bye. Oh, she gives me a lot of cuts. A big lighter to you. Okay. Uh, that's right. You are. Okay, bye. Sweet. Thanks for the money. Who the fuck are you? Shoulder sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Uh, Zeki's voice is, is weak? Okay. I don't know how she's done it. That I Lyra over there. I follow her gaze into the distance, and uh, which I now understand is her daughter, Lyra. Let me get her? Okay. Okay, please shut up. Oh, she's up there. Yeah, okay. And I'll go over here. And I'll do my little glide thing. Here we go. What up, buddy? I got your money, dickhead. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade then. Here you go. What? Okay. Uh, close screen? Good luck. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I don't need your story. Yes. Look at this. Oh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Are these the chums I can get? What are these? Or that I have gotten? Okay. Um. What else do I have in my quest? The ceremony. Okay. <laughs> Deliver parts to Sizo? Sizo? <gasps> Asshole. In a few words. Okay. Hi. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I love you. Why can't I pet you? This game sucks. This game terrible. Zero out of ten. <laughs> How can I not pet them? Uh, let's see. It's not Driz. He doesn't want my shit. Right? Driz? You, what am I doing? Liver parts to who now? Oh, okay, yeah. Let's do that. And I think that will have finished chapter one, like the intro area. And we'll probably call it. Game's so fucking pretty, I can't stand it. The art style in this is just incredible. Hello. Hold on, Sable, yes. This is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Let's head to the workshop. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one thing that I already found. Oh 
my god. Dope. Okay, workshop. Uh, machinist. Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Over here. Put this <laughs> here. Uh, anything on the table over there I need? Or am I done? I got an achievement called uh, Simoon. Simoon? This is hideous. Listen. So just tilt her head for a moment. Uh, closer. Simoon. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh. Can I, can I take you? Uh. Let's go speak to Jaddy about the final thing. Yeah. This has been great. Like, I might actually play this, like, off camera and just vibe with it. And again, if you know any games that I should check out that aren't ooky spooky games, please let me know. Return to Jaddy with a new lightness, and it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Sizzle gave it to me. You must have earned it. Well done. Well, Sable, if you keep uh, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask caster in no time. Ooh. Imagine choosing what you want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got uh, three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. Oh. Uh, but don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. It's just you claim as many masks as you can. Okay. How will I choose? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. They gave me a cape. They gave me a cape. I love it. Also, let's go over here. So, I guess I can't ride this yet? Because it's so fucking ugly. It's hideous. Garbage. Everybody hates it. Uh, let's look at my quest log. Sorry, I was trying to just, I just want to get to the end of the ceremony. So like, items. That's my badges. Compass, navigator, map. Uh, quest, bike parts. Okay. <laughs> let's just go. This has been delightful. Shame that my bike sucks so bad. <laughs> and if you have like a recommendation for a horror game, let me know. Was there a... Was there a gap I couldn't cross before without the glide? And also, what the fuck is this?
What? Okay. Oh, she even has like a helmet and a mask and stuff. Neat. Um. That's so fucking weird. Is there anything at the base level I have to start with? I don't see anything down here? Okay. Let's work our way up. Yeah, I need to get those red platforms, I assume, that were in that cutscene. Yeah, that. Puzzle games like this always make me, like, put on my serious, like, what am I doing? Face. Yeah, with the, the bucket? Hell yeah! Yeah, save some time. I'm not going to make it there, I don't think. Oh, just missed. Oh, just missed. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I tried to be slick. Um. Oh, got it. What the fuck? You asshole. You asshole. I see the thing I didn't want her to do. Okay, now we go this way. I jump. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. the platform's like behind me? Yeah, there you are. Hi. I'm gonna do this and try to glide over there instantly. Oop. Part of the mask. Can I, can I move please? No! There we go. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so I gotta go over here. There we go. Easy. Uh. Okay, got it. Because I can't make that jump, but I can do this. Candace. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, and that was the the squatting boy. Yeah. Your mask is done. If this was a Zelda game, this would come to life. What? <laughs> if this was Zelda, that thing would come to life and have like eyeballs or like hit points on his hand. I guess her hand. Oh, the world's like all gray right now.
Uh, yoink. I love it. Okay, return to camp, and that'll end the video. I actually just end it as soon as I get outside. I want to see the color of the mask and stuff. Uh, oh, there's a ladder over here. Everything is just so dreary now. What happened? Yeah, everything's not going to be in black and white now, right? <laughs> What's over here? Or was that door closed before? Oh, it was closed before. Okay. my bike from me. I look fucking cool, though. Oh, shit. Sorry. Stamina. Right. Oh, I see a chum back there. Hi. Oh, wormy fuck. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Johnny's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must be do must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that, I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and uh, uh and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. Ah! <laughs> but I am ready. Uh, and so I close my eyes and listen. I had to pee pee. But though you go by yourself, you're not without friends. You're not without family. You're not without love. These things uh, you will always carry with you. And so, uh, as you do your mask. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go see uh, Utari. They're the machinists at Burnt Oak Station and among Saizo's closest friends. Sizo? Utari's a uh, great contact to have in, on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. Okay. Look for post boxes. Okay. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Oh, the gate's open. What? There you are. Hi. <gasps> it came to me. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call it there. <laughs> I was going to say, is this going to be the... Neat.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out Sable. This is beautiful. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. Uh, be sure to check out my Patreon. It really helps out. Yeah. I'll see you all next time.